up YouTube. So I had a chat about this in a video not too long ago, but I want to just have a proper little chat about it. And that is flexibility in regards to your customer base. So I think having a flexible base, customer base really comes into its own when it's weather like this. So I'm filming this towards the end of May. Well, I think it's like one day off from the end of May. And weather wise, it's just been crap. That's the only way I can describe it. We had a couple of weeks of nice weather and then the rest of it's just been rain and just, it's just horrible. But we've been having more rain days as in full days where you can't do anything. It's just been so ridiculously wet. But we get on with it. And I think sometimes, I think we all look for, you know, the customers where it's, you know, nice, easy work or the best pain or they make a cracking cup of tea. Well, I think having that flexible customer base in many ways is more important. And this is what I want to talk about. So it's like, for instance, today, I think having work that you can just drop in on so it's like today I've got a property that I look after and it's about 35 minutes away. I've got no other people there and it's a maintenance property I look after from, it's a tailback from one of the house clearance jobs that I did. And I can do this whenever. Normally I try and just get it done on a weekend. But today I looked at the weather and between nine and 10, it was giving rain. And then after 10, it was starting to pick up a little bit so i thought to myself well look i may as well use the downtime of sitting in the van to travel so i went and traveled to this job while it was raining and then did the job while it was still raining a little bit traveled back while it was raining and then the rest of the day should pick up we have had a little bit of rain so i'm quite happy with that also as well is making use of and i think as well there's customers where you can come the day before the day after as long as it gets done they don't mind so that's been another big one today as there's been a couple of customers that i just dropped in on i couldn't get to them yesterday so i just dropped into them today just to get the work done they don't mind it as well i remember when i first started oh it was a nightmare it was like as if people were just deliberately difficult i remember one couple the retired couple and i think it's just when it suited them so at the two week block they were like oh could you come i think we've got monday morning 10 till 11 free for you you know and such and such um, and i just got the impression that they were just doing it to be difficult they were retired it was that brenda customer if you want if you're wondering people who've watched previous videos and know who Brenda is. Uh, just difficult for difficult sake, that's the only way I can describe it. Uh, but like I said, getting rid of them is beneficial. But you have, you've just got to play to your strengths. Another one as well, I try not to do it and it's a bit cheeky, but it's like this week we've had, I had to cancel full day of work and then other stuff's come in as well. I had to cancel half an afternoon of work um, so it's like today you've got to you've got to so, sometimes it sounds horrible you've got to not you've got to put off one person or not screw one person but you've got to sort of sacrifice one person to benefit the most so it's like today I'm sure we've all done it I've got two people that I look after and I give them two hours of my time every fortnight so that's four hours and it's an hourly and as much as i've tried it's an hourly rate which i'm sure some people will be happy with but when i put it compared to what i can earn doing smaller jobs it's a no-brainer really and i've cancelled those two customers now again these customers look after their own lawn and it's an hourly so even if it does go to rack and ruin it's an hourly you know i know it sounds horrible but you've got to do it you know you've got to you can please two people or you can please five people and earn more money doing them five people and that's what i've done today i managed to get five jobs done in the time it would take me to do two 
and I'm getting to the person that, you know, the sixth person now. So it does benefit sometimes to do it. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time or cancelling on the same customer. But it's like yesterday, I cancelled on a lady. Uh, again, it's an hourly, I just do an hour for it. And it's a legacy customer. And unfortunately, the way I see it is that, you know, probably next year she'll be gone. Uh, but, you know, this is the thing. She's a good customer. She's a good regular customer. The only downside to her is it's a low hourly rate and I've got no other customers near to it. But she is good and she is reliable. But it's like yesterday, I cancelled her to catch up on the work. So I managed to get three small jobs done, which were sort of hanging over in the time it would take me to do hers, including the travel time. So, you know, sometimes you have to do it. I know it sounds horrible, you have to do it. Um, as I said, there's no grass involved. It's not like, you know, things are going to rack and ruin. It's just little bits of maintenance here. So sometimes you've got to sort of, you know, not wind up the one per you, you know, you've got to let down one person to benefit the majority. And as well, if you keep doing it or you're thinking you're gonna to have to keep doing it. So if you think to yourself, every single time with this person, oh, I've got one person to do and you know, it's, it's take, I could be doing three other people in that time. Well, that's when you've got to be thinking to yourself, right, I need to start getting rid of people. But there's nothing worse as well than customers that, you know, they've got, there's no budging. I'll tell you another thing as well, is I used to text people. I used to text people before I was coming. Uh, and customers will say, well, could you just text me when you're coming? And I wait up and I think, do I need to text them? And I make that pro thing in my head with the quoting process. You know, there's no lock on the gate. I, I say to them, well, look, sometimes I could be in the morning, sometimes it could be in the afternoon. Um, you know, is there a reason? Oh, no, no, it's just, just in case, you know, uh, I had to go out and about payment. I says, well, look, you can pay me by fax. So don't worry about pay. Oh, no, it's fine, just come and do it whenever. But as I said, you know, remnants here, there's people where it's like one late. I've just stopped texting people now. Uh, obviously, there's some that I do have to text, you know, if you have to move the car. Uh, you know, I've got one customer. Honestly, I think she only wants me to text her so she can make me a cup of tea. I think that's the only reason. So she can make sure that she's got a cup of tea I can have a chat with it and there's a piece of cake ready for me. I think that's the only reason, but I, you know, she's a nice lady. You know, other people, if they've got to move the car, but the rest of the people, I've just stopped texting them. And you know what, have I had people saying, oh, you never text? No, I've had, I've had one person and she said to me, she said, oh, you've not texted to say you're coming. I says, look, I said, I've stopped texting people now. I says, I've been coming to you for five years on the same day every two weeks at the same time uh, you know I, I, it's just and it's, the thing is people might think or you might think oh, it's only two minutes to text but it's that two minutes it's taking up that mental time and as well if you send a text out in the morning and you're running late it's sort of you know you're sort of damned if you do and you're damned if you don't because you find yourself texting people you know and saying to people oh you know, I will be here at a certain point, you know, and if you're running late, you know, I've got, again, one customer, she's a bugger. I say I'll be there at nine o'clock, you know, rings me up at three minutes past nine. Are you coming today? I didn't think you'd be coming. You're not here yet. And again, I've been going to her for five years. I says, oh no, I says, they put temporary traffic lights up. I says, that's why I'm running late or that's why I'm late. And she, as I said, she always makes a point of mentioning it. So, as I said, it's one of them that you've just got to sort of put up with and factor in and think to yourself, you know, it's for peace of mind or ease. So, flexible customers, yep. I'd be as flexible as I can for them. Uh, if people say, when I book them in, if they say, oh, look, that's really not a good day. I have the grandkid that day and... I do this that day. I will try my best, but the people, if they can't budge for me, well, it's a different sort of story then, isn't it? So, as usual, guys, 
have a good day keep on gardening